Hi guys, Darth Deuces here with another video, and today I'm doing my top 10 uh, expanded universe Star Wars figures, uh, which are all three and three quarter inch. Uh, back in the day when the three and three quarter inch figures were still, you know, the big uh, Star Wars or Hasbro's main Star Wars figure line, we got quite a few expanded universe figures released when they were still canon and all that jazz. Um, obviously, that's not the case anymore, but. Well, I wouldn't say my, my Expanded Universe collection is by no means huge at all. Um, I have accumulated a few over the years, and I want to share my favorites with you guys in this video. So first I'll do ta uh, three honorable mentions really quick. The first one is the uh, Galen Merrick or Starkiller figure that was first released in the Vintage Collection and later released, uh, re-released in the Black Series uh, 3 and 3 quarter inch collection, uh, back when the Black Series 3 and 3 quarter inch figures were still good. Um, and yeah, this is the Black Series version, um, which so the paint apps aren't exactly as good as the Vintage one, but for the most part, it's still really good. And this is a really great figure. Articulation is pretty good for the most part. I would have liked some ball hinge hips, but aside from that, he has really good articulation, sculpts really good, and he came with a ton of accessories, and it just made this figure really fun and really cool. And I really like the character of Starkiller as well. Um, next up is one I've picked up more recently, and it is Clone Commander Keller, which is a clone trooper. And I really like this clone trooper a lot. Um, there are other clones that are expanded universe that are on actually on the list, and he just didn't make the list. Um, but it's really cool. I really like the airborne trooper um, design, helmet design, and whatnot. I think it looks really cool. He has a soft goods uh, camera as well as a soft goods poncho. The soft goods hood it doesn't actually look goofy or anything. It sits decently well over his head with the helmet on, which I think is really cool that they're actually able to execute that. The soft goods themselves are really well done. He's got this blaster. Articulation is pretty good. The paint apps are good for the most part. It's just a really solid clone figure. I really like the poncho design. It looks really cool. And then my last honorable mention is the Black Series 3 and 3 quarter inch Darth Plagueis. Um, I remember when this guy was announced and then released. It was just a bit after I had read the book, and I absolutely loved the Darth Plagueis book. I wish that was still canon. I don't usually complain about the EU not being canon too much, but that's one definitely one thing that kind of bugged me. And this figure is really cool. Um, he has some flaws. Uh, he doesn't have any art waist articulation. He's a little on the fragile side, um, but he's a really cool Sith Lord. I'm really happy they decided to make Darth Plagueis into an actual figure. Um, he has a bunch of accessories. The sculpt's really good. It's just a really, really cool figure. Really happy to have it. I mean, that's the honorable mention, so now we'll move on to the actual list. All right, and the first at number 10 is the Black Series Mara Jade figure. Um, before the 3 and 3 inch super articulated line pretty much completely died, they did, they were able to still put out a few, some really good figures and some really good Expanded Universe figures, and it was really cool when they decided to do a new Mara Jade, and for the most part, it's a big improvement from the previous one. Um, and I actually really like this figure a lot. She's a very popular character, of course. A lot of people complain about her head sculpt, mainly the hair looking all poofy as it is. It is a little extravagant. Um, doesn't bother me that much, though. But I think the overall head sculpt looks really good. The rest of the sculpt looks really good. I like the outfit she's got going on. It's very sort of assassin agent kind of thing going on, which is what she is. I liked how you could port the holster on two different parts of the belt. You could store blaster in the holster the blaster is really cool pretty sure it's a uh, special sculpt to this figure only um, she had a lightsaber hilt I plugged into her belt which I don't have on me right now and she had the purple lightsaber which I think is really cool it was a nice sculpt pretty sure it's a new sculpt for the lightsaber and the blade looks really nice it is a really good looking figure articulation is good it's just a really solid figure I think and that's my number 10 all right moving on to number nine Next up at number 9 is Darth Bane. I'm a big Sith fan. I like a lot of Sith. I like the Sith figures, and they're going to have a strong presence on this list. Um, I'm still trying to get, well, kind of trying to get more of them, because I'm still missing a lot of them. But Darth Bane here is really cool. Um, but he's so high on the list, because well, he's a really cool figure. He does have his flaws. Um... The Orbalisk armor is cool. It's really cool you can remove it or whatever, but I think it could have been executed a bit better. I really hate the Orbalisk armor parts that go on his arms. It not a function function wise doesn't work very well. Um, 
But he is really cool. He has the purple lightsaber, which while even back then wasn't canon for Darth Bane, I'm really happy they went with the purple lightsaber. It adds a bit more uniqueness to the shelf among the Sith that have mostly red lightsabers. The cape's really cool. I like the big collar on it. Um, the head sculpt's really nice, which is hard to see. But it's really nicely painted and sculpted, and it's a really good figure. Um, good articulation. Um, it's just not my favorite. But he is really cool, and he is my number nine choice. Now moving on to number eight. At number seven is the Dark Forces, I'm not sorry, Dark Empire comic pack Luke Skywalker figure. Still on the hunt for the Emperor figure, um, Clone Emperor figure, but I got this in a trade a long time ago um, from Darth Phoenix 619 hooking me up with this guy. And I really like this guy still to this day. Um, Dark Empire is not the most well received comic, but it's one of the first comics that I read, so it has a sentimental place in my heart. And I really like this design for Luke. He has the um, the black suit going, kind of reminiscent of Darth Vader around the legs and whatnot. You got like the arm wraps look pretty cool. I like the green lightsaber he yeah, has. I think it looks good. Um, the head skull's pretty good in this one too, actually. His uh, left eye is a little fucked up, but aside from that, it looks pretty good. And I really like the big sort of coat, cloak kind of thing he has. It's got like the broad shoulders, the big collar, and it's flowing all around and I like that it's made out of plastic and it's really cool. You can't remove it if you want to. But I think it looks really cool and it's a really great representation of the character in the comic. And I really like this Luke. It's probably my favorite Luke Skywalker figure. And the articulation is also pretty great as well. So yeah, that's number seven. Moving on. So I just realized that I actually did a top 11 list because I just set up 11 figures uh, for this top 10 instead of 10. So I fucked up on my math. Um... So that's the that's that. So this is actually number seven, and going all the way back to Mary Jade, it's actually number eleven. We'll just roll with it. Um, so yeah. Uh, so this is number seven. This is Sharad Het, not Asharad Het. Um, this is his father. I got the comic pack loud, almost two years ago now, actually, at a comic book store. And this is one comic pack I definitely want. Was one I would like wanted to get if I could find it. I was happy to find it. I really like this figure a lot. Articulation is not the best. But the sculpt's really good. The idea, just like a Tusk Mary Jedi, is really cool. You can remove his uh, helmet or mask or whatever. He has a red lightsaber, even though he's a Jedi, which I think is really cool. Um, it's very different for a Jedi to have a red lightsaber, so I like that a lot. And he has the gaffy stick as well, which I think is really cool. Um, yeah, it's a really cool figure. Uh, I like it a lot. So now moving on to number six. And at number six, we have a clone trooper, and it is a clone Captain Fordo, or I guess officially on the packaging, Arc Trooper Commander. Um, but it's Fordo. Um, and this is a really great figure. Probably one of the best uses of this sort of vintage collection uh, clone trooper sculpt. Three and a bunch clone trooper sculpt. Um, has a pretty good articulation. Um, sculpt's good. And he has a bunch of accessories. Comes with two blasters, he has two different belts, a uh, pauldron. He pretty much has his full armor set for. His phase one look and his full armor set, how I have him here in his phase two look. So you're basically getting two figures in one, which is really, really cool. It had a really cool sort of unique clone trooper head sculpt underneath the helmet. It is a really nice figure. And also Fordo is one of my favorite clone troopers. So really like this figure a lot. And it's one of my favorites. All right, moving on to number five. Yeah, number five, we have a figure I picked up probably about a month or so ago. Maybe a bit over a month ago. It is uh, Mandalore the Indomitable. This is one of the few figures that is released in a time period prior to the Revan, I guess, time period. The, um, like Only like three figures from that time period were released. Stula Keldroma, Exar Kun, and then this figure. Um, this guy was part of the Evolution's Fet Legacy pack. And it's such a really cool figure. First of all, it's a Mandalorian, so it's already an instant win there. But it's a very unique looking figure. He has like the shield, he has like a, a axe looking thing, he has like the little spear thing I have right there. Soft goods are cool. And the armor is very cool looking. And it actually looks like an old Republic kind of thing. The mask, Mandalore's mask, is really cool. And I just like having um, one of Mandalore's leaders as a figure form. It's a really cool. Articulation is good as well. And this is a really solid figure. I really like this one a lot. And that is number five. And at number four, I have Feast Garada here. But pretty much any of the clone commandos that use the more articulated sculpt can take this place. I have a bunch of them. I have all of Delta Squad there, and I also have Feast Garada. Um, don't know if there's any others that use this sculpt or not. Um, 
But either way, any of them that use a sculpt are my favorites in number four spot. It's hard to pick over the, all the five. So they are really cool. This is a really good sculpt. I love the clone commandos. Probably my favorite clone troopers. I love the armor design. Sleek and still has a bit of bulkiness to it. It looks really cool. Um, articulation accessories are all good. These are really, just really solid figures, all of them. At number three, we have Darth Malgus. This might have been my first Expand Universe Sith Lord I ever got outside of like different reimaginings of like Darth Vader or whatever. Um, and I really like this. I really like the character, and I really like the figure a lot. Uh, this is the Vintage Collection version, which I actually have two of. I still have one mint on card. One of the few figures I bought two of to get mint on card because the card back is also really awesome. Uh, it was re-released in the Black Series during the commercial line, like 2013-2014. It's just, just an awesome figure. The sculpt is absolutely great. The paint apps are awesome. Better on the Vintage Collection one, which I have here. Paint apps are awesome. Sculpt is awesome. Articulation is pretty good. I would have liked some ball hinges in the hips, but aside from that, articulation is really good. And accessories are pretty good as well. He has a lightsaber hilt on his belt. He's got his lightsaber, and he also came with the uh, larger cloak or whatever that you can put over him that has a hood and whatnot that he wears in the trailer, so that's also really cool that you get that. And it's just a very solid figure, badass looking figure. I really like this guy a lot, and he is number three for sure. And number two, I have the Sith Lord or Sith Stalker version of Starkiller, which was released in the um, Vader Secret Apprentice Evolutions pack way back when. Um, this one was given to me in a trade with Steezy Collector Customs, which is awesome and it's yeah definitely one of my favorite not only one of my favorite eu figures one of my favorite figures in my collection definitely a grail figure for sure um and it was probably my most wanted star killer figure at the time and it's awesome i love the helmet design it's kind of like a mix between like a tuscan raider a Mandal and a mandalorian or something like that which is really really cool and just the sculpt of the armor and is a beat up arm with the blades on his arm and whatnot looks awesome he's got all the lightsabers sculpted on his belt and you got the removable one there as well and he's got the sith lightsaber which looks really really good articulation is pretty good as well soft goods work well on this figure it's just such an awesome figure absolutely happy to have it and one of my favorites for sure and moving on to my absolutely favorite eu figure and just one of my favorite figures in general and that figure would be Darth Nihilus. This is a 100% was a grail figure for me. One of the figures I absolutely wanted the most. And I was so stoked when I got the whole Evolutions pack. Um, shit, probably a couple of years ago now at a comic book store. Found it for a pretty reasonable price. And I'm super stoked to have this grail figure in my collection. Um... And he's absolutely fantastic. He has great sculpting. Soft goods work extremely well on this figure. I love the sort of force gesturing sculpted hand on his left. The lightsaber is cool. And the head sculpt with the hood looks absolutely awesome. It's cool you can remove the hood and see underneath. Articulation's good. It's just such an awesome figure. And not only one of my favorite, or not only my favorite EU figure I own, but one of my favorite Star Wars 3 and 4 inch figures I own in general. I absolutely love this guy. It's awesome. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite EU figures or characters are in the comments below, or make a video if you want. Um, yeah, thanks for watching again, and may the Force be with you.